Hello, it's Sarah. I'm trying to bring you guys an update on my table, and it's so hard to film because it's a table. Anywho, I finished the bottom shelf. I finished eh, pretty much the, the, whatever they're called. I don't know. They're not legs. They're like, anywho. And then I did end up painting the legs. See, you can't see. Colors. Can't see it. Oh, there we go. Um, I did the checks. So I did the checks along the front. And then I ended up putting some midway up the pole, the posts. Um, I'm going to show you what I did in detail a little bit. So for the suns, I just painted them on, kind of like a wood burning pattern would be. But I used paint. I used some dotting and um, some strokes. Um, that's the suns. And then for the hearts, similar thing. Just did the heart. I just painted them on. Did some strokes and some dots. There's the trees. The only thing I added to those was I did these little swirly things, little curly cues on the edges with the Posca paint pen. Here's my waves. I really love them. I just did strokes again and dots. I did dark blue dots and white. I tried to pull white throughout and then the only place I put black was on the suns and Joe just came home so he might say something. What did I do? I added little leaves on the flowers in the dark green and I put a swirly in the big green dot and then I put dots along here. So that's, I mean, and that could be done, but I could still add. I'm kind of disappointed in my checks because they are very, very wonky. They're not as even as I'd hoped, and I tried to straighten them out quite a bit a few times. It's just so hard to, with, because it's a rounded surface and, and moving it around to get my, these turned out much better because it was more straightforward, you know. So that's the update. I'm going to try and come, I'll put it on the floor. Um, oops, and I'm I was attached to the, so this is how it looks right now. And I'm about to set the camera down. I'm going to try and show you how I'm going to measure out my top to make the top grid, which is just the rainbow, like the stripey part. So I'll be right back and I'll show you that. Okay, this is awesome. I put my camera, anyway, I'm overhead. It's on the, like, I'm turned to the side. Um, anyhow, I'll come down a little, no, I'm staying up. Okay, so what I did on the bottom to get the measurements was I have my ruler, and I just decided to um, kind of randomly, I'm going to use a pencil. My desk is so clean and neat, I can't find anything. All right, hopefully I have a lead in here. Okay, so I'm just going to, and I don't need it to match the bottom. I'm um, going to make lines at, or a little um, two inches. One, two, I'm going to do, I think I'll do three or three inches here because then I'll be able to make the swirly. One, two, three inches. Um, one and a half. And I'll just have to remember this. Uh, I think I'll do two. And how about one? I could do one and then maybe a really thick one at the bottom. No, I'll do a I'll do a one and a half. Is my head in the way? No. All right, and you can't even really see that. Now let me just figure out what I just wrote down, what I just did here. So basically, it's at 2 inches, 5, 2, 5, 6 and a half, 8 and a half, 9 and a half, and 11. So then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I just turn it and do the same the same thing. Um, 
pretty sure. See, here's my two. Mmm. Two, five. Oh, itchy nose. Six and a half. Eight and a half. Nine and a half. Kirby! My dog has, um, she had a ruptured anal gland. Eleven. Um, and I never knew anything about anal glands, but anyway, long story short. Kirby, where are you? No licking. I'm going to put your cone on you. Do you want your cone? You don't want your cone, so stop. Um, she's on medicine, so she's doing much, much better. But, um, you know, she likes to lick. Lay down. Lay down right there. Okay, so now um, I need a line down the center. So, and I'm just going to eyeball it. I mean, I could measure. Like, see, here's a good way to find center. If I just go like, um, what should I do? Oh, from corner to corner. Let's just do that. Corner to corner. Um, looks about 17 inches. So, 8 and 8 is 16. So, 8 and a half. No, 6, wait, 6, wait, wait, wait. 16, 8 and 8 is 16, right? So eight and a half. So then I'll just take my thingy, oh, I need the big one again, and just make a line from this point down the center. And see, this is what I'm loving about being a good enough. And you can't see any of these lines, so it's not real helpful. But they're in pencil. I, I want them to come off, so I don't want them to be too dark. Um, but this is what I'm saying about being a good enough is uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful that it doesn't have to be perfect. So let me now go with, um, I'm going to make a line at each of those measurements. Let's see, two. Five. I hope this works because I don't remember how I did it the first time. Six and a half. You know what? This is this is the thing. Other thing about me, like I'm just so in the moment when I'm in this craft room. Six and a half, eight and a half, um, nine and a half and eleven, nine and a half and eleven. That um, I'm really not being um smart and I'm not writing things down. I remember when I used to do tutorials for you guys, I would write everything down and make sure I knew what I was going to say, which is very smart, um, especially when, you know, the videos can take a long time. So then I just wing it. Like I could measure again and make sure that I have, but I'm just going to kind of, so I go from this point to that point. And I know you guys can't even see this. But um, basically, I'm using my arm as a compass, and that's one. So I'm just going to attach, can you even see what I'm doing? I mean, you can kind of see. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with this. I'm just going to try and keep the arc of the table, and I don't know, it looks good enough to me. These lines, actually, I don't mind because uh, I'm going to be painting right up to them, so they're okay. But any of the lines that I put on there, I really don't want to be dark. So here's, this is how I do it, guys. Very uh, casually. Um, that looks a little, okay. And then this one's a big one, which I think I want to do a kind of swiggle, squiggle like I did on the bottom and then oh my gosh I saw something else on Pinterest oh boy I'm excited I may guess what I may be breaking out the polymer clay you're not gonna oh this is the one I was gonna do with this is thick I may have to do something else here or I'm gonna do a thick what the heck am I gonna do here 
All right, so that's half my circles. And then I just have to do the same thing on this side and then I'm gonna paint that. So that's how I do it, you guys. But I wanna share with you something. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on Pinterest. They're called Picasso art and it's kind of by kids. Like you do it with cardboard and I just think like I would love to get together with all you guys and sit around in a room with a bunch of cardboard and just make these Picasso faces. Like I think it would be so fun for a teacher. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. OMG. All the fun you can have. So I think I'm going to play with these. And then I was thinking I could do this in polymer clay. Let me see if I, um, it's on Pinterest, but see how it's cardboard? Oh man, you can't really see it. Oh, anyway, um, there were some, let me show you the ones on Pinterest if, if they'll show up, but they're like, they look like they are, they're made of a certain type of material, but it looks like polymer clay to me. Look at OMG, stop. This could be totally polymer clay. <gasps> oh my God, I freaking love these things. See? That's what it takes to pull me out of, to get me back to something like, I'm going to have to find my polymer clay. Sherry, if you're watching, OMG, like, I can't even. These are so cute. And I'm sure, I mean, a pin is probably what it would end up being, but it could be a pendant. Look at that. <gasps> I love it so much. Okay. Adorable. Adorable. Stop doing that phone. So those were the ones that look like polymer clay. These are kind of more along the lines. And then they have printouts because I was thinking I would give Joe, my hubby, a printout of the shapes. And then he can put it on the Glowforge. And then it could be in wood. So I maybe I won't have to do it in polymer clay. If he can do it in wood, I could just glue them all together. But then they're not my true designs. Like they're... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. But like, yeah, so you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, this is called Picasso art or um, look at it. <gasps> and the thing is, it's so colorful. Now, this is someone else. This is from Tumblr. I don't know who the artist is, but these are a little bit different because they're one piece. They're not like all glued together. Like you can see the height differences on here. I mean, and if you started to do it with mixed media, you could put pin, like jewelry findings, OMG, so much. So anyway, that's what I really loved about art dolls. And I'm just going to grab one. Oh, why don't I just grab this? Look at this. So it's any type of assemblage gets me really excited because it's when you start to combine, like this is a wine cork that I glued paper to, and then I jammed some wings in there and, you know, and I put a screw in the middle and I put a bottle cap on it and beads on the bottom but that's what gets me excited is all the different and I'm just trying to grab my little art doll here this is from oh I took a class with her and I can't think of her name oh gosh I got in trouble too for showing these on well for trying to teach something like this on my YouTube channel because it was a class specifically a class I took but when you add look I have glitter on here I could have added so much stuff. I was just, oh, look, there's a button. I have a little bird on top. But, oh, there's a bling. So, and that's a ribbon. So that's what I'm, I love. And here's the thing. Because I have all of these um, pieces, bits and pieces in my craft room already, just sitting around waiting for me to do something, I should really put something here for you to look at, but I don't have it. <laughs> um... Anywho, I will be back. I am going to hopefully get started on this. I don't want to move on to my little uh, Picasso art before I finish this because it could get, it won't get finished. So I really at least want to base coat the top today and then I'll be back. But Google it. Look for um, Picasso art. There's a couple videos on YouTube already. Um, and it does look like a little kid project that you would do in a classroom. And I just think it's phenomenal. And that's what it's all about for me. It's fun. You can't mess up. It's going to be bright colors, doodling, all the good stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with my table as well. So you guys, thanks for watching.